So that's how we stand. 2-1 it is in China's favour, having come from one match behind, and we've reached the singles, the third singles, between Natalia Kokroda and Li Shui of China, of course, a former world number one. Players just coming out onto the stage. And they'll make their way towards number one court where our officials are already in residence. It's a striding gait from Natalia. And of course, the pressure now really on Denmark as the players come on court. They have to win this match to keep the tie alive. If China win, then we don't play the second doubles. Having said that, Lee was beaten yesterday, so they're taking absolutely nothing for granted, that's for sure. Just the one previous meeting, but that was a couple of years ago when Lee was at her dominant best. So there is Natalia, tall woman, five foot eleven, ranked 38 in the world. She was as high as 35. That was last summer. Not had the best of seasons, to be honest, so far. Just won two of the eight matches that she's played. Came through the junior ranks. She won a silver medal in the European Junior Championships some five years ago, and she has won the Norwegian international twice but you would still have to make her opponent favorite a couple of uh, facile victories really so far for her she didn't play against uh, Korea saw off her Russian opponent and her Mauritian opponent now here's Lee of course she was number one in the world she had that horrendous uh, injury the Olympics kept her out for a couple of years having won the that was the Rio Olympics of course having won in London in 2012 it's great to see her back on the single circuit she did want to uh, win a title in China recently that was her first in two years there you see that defeat to Rosselli Hartawan Having won the first game, she couldn't see it through. Joan Leung from Hong Kong is our chair umpire, and she will be assisted by service judge Fabio Lopez of Brazil. started so well for the Danes when Mia Blickfeld had that brilliant victory over Chen Yifei but since then China have uh, rather taken a stranglehold on proceedings
Good start for Lee. I, I'm curious how she plays today because she was in control of her match yesterday against Harta One and then just kind of let things drift and she couldn't recapture the kind of form that she showed earlier in the match. Doesn't want to let her opponent here, Rhoda, have any encouragement at all. Very clever Service angle over. she creates on the backhand Three, there. One. Service over. Two. That was a late decision, a pretty good one too, because it wasn't Four, that long. Two. No challenge though from Rhoda. sure if that would have hit the line anyway look it was drifting Five, two. and it caught the end of uh, Rhoda's racket so it's immaterial yeah, it might have landed on the line actually couldn't afford to take the chance either way Quandary really for Rhoda. How aggressive does she want to get? Three. Risk making errors like that. I was trying to stay in rallies with Lee. Challenge from the Chinese. Lee Surrey challenges caught out. Oh, it clipped the line. Good challenge. Good eyesight, too. In. by much but miss it did oh. well hardly having to really break sweat at the moment Lee just hasn't settled uh, Rhoda Matches can run away from you in pretty quick time against a player of Lee's calibre. Oh. Another one drifts wide. Ten, three. Four, ten. Nestle, Nestle. 
Oh, that's a marvellous shot. Excellent Level technique. And she'll go to the interval with a seven-point advantage, Lee, and looking very strong indeed in this fourth match. Well, it must be very difficult when you're on the end of this kind of a pummeling because Lee is playing some very fine badminton. Yesterday, as I mentioned, she rather fell apart having won the first game. Today, the touch is definitely back. Impressive. Good leave, because that was excellent defending from Lee. Service over. Five, and bold attacking 13. play from Rhoda. 23-shot rally. Fifteen five after just nine minutes of play. Five. Almost like everything Rhoda tries, Lee's got an answer to it. Just too many unforced errors from Rhoda. And Lee looking pretty composed, I was going to say, this morning. Just become afternoon here. 
noon local time in Bangkok. Just teasing it now. Two wonderfully acute angles, one side, then the other. Six. Did well to get that one. Nowhere near the second. Always going to be a lost cause getting that one. Oh, absolutely fantastic from Lee. How on earth did she win that point? Brilliant play. 29 short rally. So 14 match points, uh, sorry, game points, got ahead of myself there, for Lee. Bit of fighting spirit shown by Rhoda. There it is, in a very unassuming fashion, 14 minutes only, 21 points to seven. And China now within one match, within one game of a place in the semi-finals. Beautiful touch again. No need for much uh, celebration. Off for the interval. All in here. Oh, 
So is there any way back for Natalia Kukloda? We'll soon find out. Lee serving. Lost just seven points in the opening game. Floated in that one. A rare error of judgment from Lee. Yeah, beautifully done. Made that look much easier than it was. She was arcing back. Perfectly balanced when she played the shot. surprise when she misses from that range wrong-footed Rhoda with that shot but it was going to go the other side. Three, two. Well, it was on a right hand side, just couldn't get across. Well, that's better defending from Rhoda. Excellent. Crowd enjoying the spirit she showed there. Good blocking. And eventually, and for once, it was Lee who made the error. He just tried to hit it a fraction too hard. And I remember yesterday, Lee won the first game against Hartawan of Indonesia and then capitulated in the next two. So. There is still hope for the day. Ah, uh, what a pity for. Rhoda there, it was a terrific rally again. A couple of great gets from Lee. And the error at the end to give Lee the point. She might have made more errors in the second game already, albeit very early stages, and she made in the hold of the first game. I think it might be a, a concentration thing with Lee. 5 4. Flick the end of Rhoda's racket. Service over. Five, six.
excellent leave. Back on terms again, the Chinese. Rhoda just looks a tad disconsolate. as well Seven, six. so much time sometimes I think you can overthink a decision to leave it better just getting on with it how much time she had she's pointing to where she wanted it it doesn't always obey golfers find that out pretty quickly with their golf balls that's long though So nip and tuck in this second game. Every point won by Lee is effectively a point nearer the semi-final for her country. So for the yeah, interval, seven. the Chinese has a four-point advantage. So trying to finish the job now, Lee, with an 11-7 lead in this second game. Hey! Once again, 12, Rhoda's judgment lets her down. Hey! Great deception from the Chinese. This is the kind of run of points we saw from her at the end of the, or towards the end of the first game. She just got on a roll, played some magnificent stuff, and understandably, Rhoda just dropped her level a little bit. And that's happening again now.
went wrong again. You almost think now she should just play everything within reason because that wasn't even that close. Well, that's going to be challenged. I'm not overly surprised, and she may as well. Seven all, so eight points in a row for Lee. Depends what happens with this challenge. I think it might get overturned, you know. Oh, no. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge Nothing remaining. going right. the end of the racket another point for Lee it's become 18, very one-sided now as China home in on a Uber Cup semi-final place oh. over. Eight, just delay the inevitable that I think Over hit that a fraction. Nine, that was so nonchalant. How casual was that? makes it look ridiculously easy and it really isn't <laughs> well called out she wants to have a look gives her a chance to have a breather as well at 19.9 going to be match point bang on the line in. 20 match point nine play so 11 match points for Lee to get China into the semis <laughs> defending champions are safely through it was a bloodless victory really for the loss of just 16 points. She played much better than she did yesterday when she lost. Today, the result never in doubt. And the defending champions have the chance to defend their title. 30 minutes only. The shortest match of the four we've seen on number one court today. And this was the moment. Denmark's hopes were ended. They put up a valiant fight, the Europeans, you'd have to say, but in the end, China strength in depth, just too strong for them.